In the first test I'll check the mechanics of the wheels and tracks and the steering behavior of the tank. For this I create a simple test route. With a 90 degree angel at the end. This is the place we want to look at. Now even a speed mark, so the tank moves off at all. Again at close range, so you can better see the tracks. Next we test the ability in hilly terrain. For this I extend the line in the Z direction. And create a landscape model. I enlarge it to 20 times 20 meters. Set the height to 2 meters. And move it slightly forward. Now I put the terrain to the zero level. The resolution can be reduced a bit. The landscape model has to be assigned as a ground object. The easiest way is to create a standard group object and replace the sample object by the landscape model. Before I now start the simulation we should optimize the tank a bit. In the second part of this tutorial I've already explained why we do not use the standard rear wheels for the ground rollers. To make the tank be able to turn almost on the spot, we have set the rear wheel in the middle. Depending on the character of the terrain, a large wheel is more advantageous as it better swallows small bumps. Drive does not simulate a tracked vehicle. In the simulation, the tank moves on wheels. To approximate the behavior of a tracked vehicle as close as possible, we need a lot of wheels. I create two more axes. that I assign the properties of the standard rear wheels. So we can also place these big wheels at the front and rear to emulate the curve of the tracks at the guide rollers. This is especially useful in hilly terrain as the guide rollers don't exist for drive and therefore not checked for contact with the ground. The accidental slight dipping of the tracks in the ground can unfortunately not be prevented completely, as drive, as I said, simulates a vehicle on wheels. You could now place additional hidden wheels to minimize the effect, but also the wheels will dip slightly at hard bumps. And this is definitely intended 
in order to simulate the elastic behavior of a rubber tire.